Okay, now we've got the framework all disassembled. The last thing to do is this one panel. So what I'm gonna do first is take off the door and then I'll work on these two pieces. Okay, so now all I have to do is take out this cotter pin. on the bottom and undo them. All right, we've got that assembly out now. I'm gonna leave these last two uh, plugs in just because they're kind of rusted in there and it's not really that big of a deal. They're gonna get painted over anyways. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is take off the actual nozzle part. This would be where the nozzle, end of the nozzle where gas would be. So that's all the disassembly. We're gonna get this ready to go to the sandblasters and the rest of the parts, and then uh, we'll go through all the stuff that we broke and different things we need to get order. And we'll go through a list with you guys of what we're doing, and then uh, we'll get back when we get into the bodywork. All right, I've got the Bennett 541 back from the sandblasters. And so what we're gonna to do is we're gonna weld all these up. Some of the stuff we might replace, but I'm just gonna drill new holes for them when we get to that. So the way I'm gonna do this is, I'm gonna hold a piece of brass on the bottom here, underneath the hole that I'm gonna fill with weld. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna leave me a nice clean surface on the bottom. And the way I'm gonna weld these, instead of just tacking all the way around until you get it right, I'm just gonna use what they call a rosette weld, which is basically gonna start at the edge and it's gonna roll. They're all really nice and flat. You can tell that a couple times I had to stop, let it cool down, and then try again. That's kind of normal. You don't want to keep it peeling away. Um, so yeah, now I'll just grab the grinder with some 36 grit, and I'll just buzz those off, and then I can give this thing a block and see what it needs for bodywork. work.